let's do stop me when you love this part uh this stop game stop me when yep. okay so we're gonna stop me when you hear a player better than palo ban oh my guy yeah so i really wanted to test out and see how big of a palo ban fan you were well within reason <laughs> i'm <laughs> It's within reason. I'll, I'll tell you what did it. Um, you know how I feel about Duke. Yep. I have, for those of you just joining us, first of all, welcome. Yep. And here's some backstory for you. I hate Duke <laughs> more than any other anything. Yep. I, like anything in life that you name. Yeah. I hate Duke. Yep. Like we played Stop Me When for for like te- things that I hate more than Duke. It would be Duke. Like I, I would just never talk because you'd be like, "Stop me when I name something you hate more than Duke," and I would be silent because I hate them and they stink. stink. But with that being said, yeah, there's been a couple players over the years that, admittedly, when I watch, I'm like, "All right, man, God, I hate that he went to that school." Yeah, but they can ball Zion. Um, you know, I was an Elton Brand fan mm-hmm. going back in the day. Paolo's one of them. Yeah. And I just watched Paolo Ante take over games. Like, I, Dukies that have an edge to them, I don't hate as much as the other Dukies. It's a, it's a like, clean cut. Yeah. Like the Christian Leitner Dukies. Yeah. Like, do no wrong. They're pretty boys. Yeah. Oh, I hate you. Yeah, I but, agree. But the, the guys with that dog in them, like Paolo, I'm all in. Yeah, and the Seattle guys are always great. Like the Seattle NBA players. Yes. And he's a player from Seattle. So, all right. Facts. But stop me when you hear a player right. better than Paolo Bancaro. Right. I'm ready. All right. All Here right. we go. First right. guy, Tobias Harris. Come on. Okay. Second Come guy. On. Franz- Paolo's dunking on his face and taking all the money he's fleeced from all the teams. <laughs> all right. Next, we got Franz Wagner. Stop. Okay. I mean, even they're teammates. Okay. <laughs> Guess what? Guess what? They give Paolo the ball and get the hell out of the way. Yep. All right. Another guy from the same draft class, Jabari okay. Smith. I mean, Paolo. It's not even, what are we doing? Okay. Paolo. We're coming out here to Boston now. What about Kristaps Porzingis? Ooh, yeah. This is a good one. Yeah. Because Chris Stapps is way more dynamic in a sense of first of all, he's he's bigger, yeah, taller. Yeah. Uh he's more of a rim protector than Paolo. Although mm-hmm. Paolo will play defense. Yeah. But I mean, like Chris Stapps literally can deny anyone at the rim other than Jokic. Yeah. Uh as we've learned. Um so are we keeping it going or are you no, stopping? No, I'm talking this out. He can okay. obviously he could stretch the, the floor, hit threes. Paolo's still developing that part of his game. Mm-hmm. Paolo, I would say in terms of interiors right there with him, I would say Paolo's a better athlete. Yep. I would say Paolo's more available. Damn it, man. I'm going Paolo. Okay. I don't hate that. It's, we're early still. That was just the, the fourth guy. That was tough, though. All right. And I think this one's going to be tough as well. Another guy from his draft class, Chet Holmgren. Yeah, that's tough. You know, Chet, I could say all the same things I just said about Chris Stapps. Yep. Um, although, he did play a full season now. Mm-hmm. So, I can't – where I can – I have a big enough sample size – with Porzingis, yep. to say uh, no, nah, he's he's injury prone. Like yeah. he's going to get hurt. Mm-hmm. I can't necessarily say that about Chet because he he proved at least in one season he can put it together and he played yep. really well. I'll go Paolo here, okay, because I haven't had any injury concerns at all about yep. Paolo, and I've at least had a skosh, a smidge of. Chet, where I'm like, if he gets hurt again, then I can say, hey, what's going on? Yeah. All right, I'm going to see if your memory's really good. It's terrible. Jaron Jackson. Apello. Next. <laughs> okay. What about Spicy Peace? Pascal Siaka. Uh, you know I like Pascal. Yeah. Um, I think he's underrated, in fact. I've defended Siakam mm-hmm. on this show. I'm taking Paolo because he's he's just a better athlete. It's more fluid in his in his his game's more fluid. And you know Pascal Siakam, although I defend him, I mean let's just be honest. Okay, his game is vanilla city. <laughs> no, you don't even have any toppings or sprinkles on that. It's just Briars <laughs> vanilla, which is fine. Some sometimes you just want plain vanilla. Why does he catch his straight? <laughs> it's not straight. I've defended him, but like let's be honest, right? <laughs> It's one of the reasons you don't like him is because his game's so damn plain Jane. For sure. Paolo is Rocky Road, baby. I mean, you're you're giving me some sprinkles. Yeah. I'm, I'm all in. Yeah. Paolo. 
Yeah, I almost wanted to call him Cinnabon Swirl because that's all he does is that dang spin move. But all right, what about this dude, Zion Williamson? We were talking about food. We know he likes oh, man, food. Please. So, yeah, <laughs> Zion Williamson. No. What about him? Look, Another Zion, dookie. Zion's more dynamic. He's more exciting. Mm -hmm. I would much rather start and build my team around Paolo Bencaro, who actually Woo! cares and is going to be in shape. You're in hot take territory. That's not hot take. It is. If you're picking Zion over Paolo to start your team, good luck. All right. Well, what about Kawhi Leonard? Okay. I mean, this is sort of – this is this is a trick question. It's Kawhi. Okay. He's a you. champ. Okay. He's all a famer. Okay. But, uh, like – I just wanted to see if I could no, poke the bear no. a little bit. Zion's different. <laughs> Zion's not committed. I don't know. I mean, Zion's off with porn stars and he's <laughs> – Eating beignets and king cake. <laughs> Zion, bro, can you just, can you relax? Can you get off Bourbon Street and come practice? Like, what are we doing? Paolo's not at Disney World, brother. He is in the gym. You wasn't with me shooting in the gym? Yeah. I'm rolling with Paolo. Now, Kawhi's a Hall of Famer. Like, relax. Okay. Relax. Okay. All right, so you're going with Kawhi on yes. that. So you would have stopped me. The last guy I had on my list, I know it's obvious, Giannis. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I'm you're taking not Giannis. Crazy. I'm taking Giannis. You're but, not <laughs> but listen. These names that you've given me, yeah. it clearly shows you that I heart Paolo Bancaro. Yes. I am a huge fan. Yes. And by the way, not for nothing, I, I don't know what you thought about what I said earlier. KCP to the Magic, brother, they're going to be a problem. Yeah. I don't think they're beating the Celtics, but in a seven-game series, I like the Magic to be a pain in the Celtics' butt. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll talk more about this magic team. All right. I, I I definitely will in a little bit. But all right, let's switch it over all and right. talk about some of the big free agent moves. Obviously, you alluded to it a little bit, but Derek White obviously signed an extension, and obviously yeah. so did Jason Tatum. So, what do you think about those two moves for the Celtics? I mean, I love it, and they kept some role players too. I, I just, you know, as I said earlier, Ante, it's not. Just, I know I probably sound corny saying this, but it's not just a basketball aspect. It's like the older I get and the longer I work in this industry, I have kids now. Mm -hmm. I even think about myself, like when I go out now, yep. we party together, you yep. and I. Like I, I don't party the same. If you and I met, now you're mature for your age. I'll give you that. I was not. <laughs> I, I'm this way now. Maybe like, how long have I been in Nessa? Two years ago. Right. Because like. Now I actually get the big picture of like, oh, no, I have stuff to lose. I have a career. I have a family. I have this. I have that. So I move differently than I did when I was younger, yeah. if that makes sense. And so, and I think because you were a Division One athlete, it's probably why you're as mature as you are because you had to move accordingly. Yep. But I say all that to say a Jalen Brown, a Jason Tatum, a Derek White, a, a Drew Holiday, all these guys are shelling out all this money to. Yeah. They're great people. You don't have to worry about giving them all this money and then there's a 30 for 30 about them a year later, how they blew it all. They had the world in the palm of their hands, but yeah. they couldn't stay out of the casino or the strip club or the whatevs. Yeah. Like, I, I, I respect that. And so even though these numbers are eye-boggling <laughs> – I think it's great investments, like all of them, yeah. because they all enjoy playing on each other's team. Yep. They're all cohesive. They're all about us. Yep. We, not me. They're not going to be on the police blotter. I mm. love it, Ante. Yeah, I do as well. I think the number is a little, like, high. Yeah, a know? lot. But, <laughs> but. I, it's a good it's a good thing that they're yeah. bringing this team back together. And yes. I think while a lot of teams we're going to talk about, we're like nervous about them because they aren't really making moves, yeah. they solidify in their future. So this team is going to have that opportunity that Alex Cora talked about to win two over the next four years. That's right. And it's because they're taking care of the players that they have now. And even if a guy ends up getting hurt or something like that and they need to trade them down the line or whatever, yep. there's going to be guys that want to come play for the Boston Celtics because of the way this group, the GMs, the ownership has taken care of their guys. So I like the deal. Uh, if for those that don't know, Jason Tatum got five years, uh, three hundred and fifteen million dollar extension, and Derek White got four years and one hundred and twenty six million dollar extension.